And it's also Law Enforcement Day today, honoring the men and women of the police agencies across the state of New York. They all get free admission for any active or retired police or corrections personnel who presents their badge or picture ID. Yeah, so today at the fair, we are truly honoring the men and women who work to keep us safe every single day here in New York State. Yeah, our Lindsay Rachel is live at the fairgrounds this morning with more on what Law Enforcement Day is all about. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Dan and Jennifer. I want to bring in a special guest this morning to talk to you about what's special about today here at the New York State Fair. So, Trooper Jack Keller, thank you so much for joining us this morning. What is uh, Law Enforcement Day at the New York State Fair? Well, it's a day that we are able to recognize uh, for the fallen men and women who have given the ultimate sacrifice in New York State. Uh, this morning um, we'll be out here, but uh, the, the big ceremony starts at noon. But it's, it's an honor to uh, be able to kind of give the uh, recognition to the men and women who've given really everything to the law enforcement community and, and to their community. So we're hoping people come out and kind of help recognize those men and women. Other than honoring and recognizing them, what else can they learn? Because we see some cool displays here and a lot of information that people can learn more about, right? It, it, this gives us an opportunity not only to kind of recognize those men and women, but give what uh, law enforcement does every day. So in our exhibit here at the State Fair, we're able to showcase some of the specialty units that we have. Uh, some of the things that we have is given an opportunity to show those men and women who have given and, and, were, and are gone but never forgotten. Um, we also have the ability to showcase some of the things that we do, the, the fingerprint, the latent fingerprint, and uh, especially the forensics here. We, a lot of people are interested in, in forensics, and it gives you an idea of what a crime scene might look like and what we do on a daily basis when you really don't see what we do inside of a residence or inside of a crime scene. So this gives us an opportunity to, sh to uh, show you how we get latent prints taken from, you know, something from a, maybe a bottle or from glass. And also the DNA that everyone, every day when you walk and buy something, it also falls off. So it gives us uh, an opportunity to showcase that. And then we also have some of the vehicles. And then the, one of the biggest three units that we have, the uh, canine shows. Uh, people love to come out and see some of the canines. And then we have our underwater recovery team. And then we also have what our version of SWAT, which is a SORT team. Is there anything new this year? Well, some of the things that uh, we have is... Uh, we have a jumbotron, which is something that people, they come to the shows, if they can't sit down, we have a jumbotron that you can see everything. All the shows are uh, daily from, they start right at noon and all the way to about 6 o'clock at night. And, um, you know, that's pretty much for us an, an opportunity to give back to the community. And sometimes it gives us a little, uh, a little fun with the community and, and the shows are really exciting and we're hoping people come out and see us. And a special way to honor those who have fallen is with a special brick laying ceremony, is that correct? Correct. So at noon today, right in front of the Horticultural Building, we'll be honoring 14 names. And uh, those men and women are from federal, county, and state police. And uh, for the first time, they'll have one name, which is actually a canine from Riverhead Police Department. So um, we're hoping people come out and also help us recognize those uh, 14 names. Great. Well, thank you so much for being here with us so early in the morning. Those ceremonies uh, begin at noon right outside the Horticulture Building, and there's a special parade that begins at 6. Live at the fairgrounds, Lindsay Rachel, News Channel 9. All right.